You got that camera in my face. Yeah, it's not in your face. You still at a distance. Okay, mother, I'm recording you because I shared with the audience your opinion about prayer. And I explained to them how we were having a private conversation yesterday about praying for different people. And you told me that I should not exert my time and energy crying out to God and praying for people because people make a decision to live their life the way that they feel they should. And you also stated that God should be allowed to be God and it's his job to help and save people or pull them out of certain troubles because as humans, we are limited in what we can do. So nobody is confused. I want you to tell the audience why you're adamant about not praying for everybody and only a small select amount of, amount of people. And then I want you to also explain that you actually do have a personal intimate relationship with God because some people were feeling like the enemy, the devil, was speaking through you <laughs> to me because you don't agree with praying for everybody. You you specifically, you were very specific. You said, I should only pray for myself, my children, my unborn grandchildren, my brothers, and my grandmother and you. So okay. just explain to everybody first before I ask you the other two questions, why you feel that prayer should not be given to everybody well, because, okay, you asked me a lot of different questions all rolled into one. But I'm going to tell you, when I was talking to you, and you were telling me about how you were so disturbed about what happened to Kanika Jenkins, and how you're disturbed at what happens to other people. What I say and what I believe is that when you're an adult... And you make a decision to, to use drugs or to use alcohol or to consort with people who are questionable in their behavior, then you should not, this is just my opinion, spend your time and your energy putting something somewhere that it could be used better. In other words, if you know that an individual is going to make a decision to do something that's counterproductive or to do something that is against what is Christian behavior, I don't feel prayer should be wasted on that individual. If you have children or you have a home or you have immediate family members that need your support, pray for them first. But above and beyond that, Pray for yourself first. Pray for your children. Pray for your husband if you have a good husband. Because some people don't have a good husband. Some people don't have a good wife. But expend your energy where it is needed most. And it's not to me. I'm not going to pray for a drunk, a drug addict, an alcoholic if they don't want to be helped. Because there are some people... You can try to help them, and you're talking, and you're pleading, and you're trying to get them to go to treatment. You're trying, and they don't want to do it. I'm not. I, 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 I'm not going to expend my energy on those individuals. Now, if there's somebody that genuinely wants to be helped out of their situation, then I will do everything I can in my power to help them, and I will pray for them. But I'm not going to pray for some hard-headed fool that wants to go out and beat somebody or rape somebody. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Personally, just like I told you, I pray for myself. I pray for my four children. I pray for my four grandchildren. I pray for my unborn great-grandchildren. I pray for this woman right here, my 87-year-old mother. And pretty much I pray for innocent children who are being beat or raped or brutalized. Now, I sympathize with people who are at a disadvantage because it bothers me when I see homeless people. It bothers me when I see mentally ill people. I've cried. I, it, it bothers me when I see people who really have done all that they can and can't get the help that they need. Now that bothers me, but at the same token, I realize I, I can't save the world. 
I can't save the world. But no, I'm not going to pray for some hard-headed fool. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So let me ask you a question. The Bible states that we should pray for our enemies. What do you feel about that? I'm not going to pray for my enemy. Why not? Because you're my enemy. What am I going to pray for you for? <laughs> you might try to take my head off while I'm kneeling in prayer. <laughs> I'm not finna pray for my damn enemy. Because as long as you're my enemy, you stay over there. You stay over there. You better hope and pray I don't catch your ass and do something to Because you're my enemy. So you don't think that God would frown on you because no. you're going against what is in his word well, to pray for I your enemies? I don't know if that's God's word. Man might have put that in there to help himself. And God made me. God made me just the way I am. Talking, feisty aggressive, tenacious. He made me everything I'm supposed to be. So God knows my heart. Okay, let me ask you this. I want you to explain to people so they are not confused. Do you have a personal, intimate relationship with God? I most certainly do. Yes, I do. So you love God? I love God. I love God. Yes, I do. I've always loved God. When I was seven years old, I asked, what does G-O-D spell? And Teresa told me God. And then I said, what does D-O-G spell? She said, dog. I couldn't even figure that out. But I've been praying even before I knew what was to pray. <laughs> I just didn't know the full impact of prayer. But, yeah, I have a relationship with God. Ain't no way in the world I would have lasted as long as I have and been through all the shiggity that I done been through and keep a straight face and still smile when people done try to steal my joy and stomp my head every day. I would have buckled up under the pressure a long time ago if I didn't love the Lord. God knows I love him and I know he loves me too. I know that. Okay, well I, I... He just needs to show up a little quicker. Okay, well I ask that because some people were under the impression when I share with them how you're adamant about not praying for everybody, that maybe the enemy had entered Honey, into you and was speaking ain't through got you. Nothing to say to me or about me. The enemy can go on about his business because you know what? People give Satan too much credit. They really. Do. I agree. They give him too much credit. Oh, Satan did this. The enemy did this. There is only one supreme being that matters to me. That is the one that hung the earth in the space, the one that put the trees and the stars and the sun and the moon and the animals and the fire and the water. That's really all that matters to me. Satan is a second-class citizen as far as I'm concerned. Okay, okay. So I, I don't need to talk about the devil. I need to talk about God because the devil, to my understanding, if he really does exist, can only do what he's allowed to do. Mm -hmm. That's even as far as mankind is concerned. That's as far the, the Satan can only go so far. And if you allow him or it to control you, then that's just a whole nother can of worms. Okay, so before we close this out, I have one last question. Since you have your strong opinion about prayer and how you feel about God and the enemy and even enemies, I wanted to ask you, do you feel that other people should pray for you? What if you come across um, or you, you come to a crossroad in your life and you are weak? And you can't pray for yourself or you go through something personal, then you will probably need the prayers of other people. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you something. You can't let anybody pray for them. <coughs> That's true. Because, see, sometimes people don't have your best intentions. And sometimes you think they're praying for you when they really are praying against, against you. you. Very, so very true. Just like I don't call everybody I know my friend. Because everybody I know is not my friend. I might not want you praying for me. I might not want you praying for me. Because I don't know what you praying. I, I can't call that. But the love that the, that the Lord has for me. And the love I have for the Lord. That will carry me through. Now my children. You all can pray for me. Mm -hmm. You can pray for me. Because I believe that I've been the best mother I know how to be. Of course. Now, and and we do pray for you. children can pray for me. Mm -hmm. Now, anybody else? Mm, I can't call that. <laughs>
Thank you, Mother.